Welcome back to Metroid Prime. In this part, we'll be having fun with the Barf Ball. Hooray! It can actually be way quicker, especially to go downhill. And the bombs can actually open doors. At least normal doors like this. So that's pretty nice. But what we actually have to do is, uh... Oh, uh, get through to, uh, get to this area. And... Obviously, we have to get to the top door of uh, this little area with this big tree in the middle. Now, it doesn't act, the game doesn't tell you exactly how to do that, which is appreciated. Not to be that guy, but some modern games can be really bad about telling you how to do every single thing. So it's nice to see that. Now, this rune symbol has been activated. Uh, that actually surprises me because... Huh. The thing is, I tried to record this part, but I had to go back and redo something. So, that was lost, and I did scan that one. But... For, I could have sworn that these runic things don't... Uh, save, no matter what you do, if you leave the room, and you have to redo everything. Because I remember that being a big problem the first couple times I played this game. But I guess not. Huh. It's, that's odd. I don't exactly remember where all of them are. I remember pretty well what three of them are. And there's one on that wall over there. There's even more war wasps. And I fell down. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up here. This I also remember being annoying. Freaking war wasps. Always make sure to destroy those hides with a missile. Because... I think it'd be pretty annoying otherwise. I didn't even realize I missed one, huh? Well, anyway, uh... We can scan this now. Venom weed. They're just like those, uh... Other weed enemies we found, but... These ones can actually hurt. This is around the point where the game becomes actually a bit challenging. Ignoring the fact that that last mini boss almost killed me in one hit. It's not so much now, but when I first played this, this is around the point where I started dying. And another nice thing is this pointless scan that stopped through the game, except to tell you that the poison is in fact in the plant life. Yet another nice touch. There's a, like, like I said, there's a lot of those. There's quite a bit of them, actually. Now, I'm trying to... M I remember there's uh, one of these things are, like, really annoying to find. But I don't exactly remember where. Hopefully I don't have to backtrack in this area to find all four of the symbols. Wait, I can't even find the third one. What? Oh, wait. Right here. Okay. Since this game doesn't really have fall damage, let's go back. Where is it, anyway? I honestly don't remember. Where? I think it's... It's probably around here, but... Wait. Oh, it was, how did I miss that? Well, anyway. Oh yeah, and I just remembered, if you die at this point before 
getting past this whole part of the game, uh, when you go back to your save, that's when the these stuff, uh, even if you save after completing this puzzle, these all reset. So you have to scan them all over again. That's where I remember being annoying. And it was really annoying. Sure to give her these because they do actually hurt. See, it's just like being the poison water, pretty much. Good. Two tunnel rooms in a row is probably not a good sign. Must mean there's something important around here. Spoiler: there definitely is. Oh boy, here we go. This is Flogra. I assume I'm saying that correctly. This is the first, like, really, really tough boss. At least compared to everything else so far. Well, the first thing we should do, well, thankfully, because we scanned it, once again, it will show its weak point, which is its face. Not a, not a shocking weak point, I have to say. What this does, that's not important right now, actually, that just stuns it. What we actually have to do is hit this mirror so it can lose its solar power. And okay, the game makes this abundantly clear. Go in here, bomb, and set it on fire! Well, that's dead, right? Right? N no, not even close. Now we have to deal with two mirrors. And yes, you do have to knock them both down at the same time. I guess my better judgment, because on hard mode, it is possible to die in this boss pretty easily. But I'm going to just destroy that. Yeah, you see? It will actually uh, knock it back into place, which is why you have to stun it. Missiles are really helpful for that. And yeah, uh, staying locked onto it and strafing. Actually lets you get in from these mirrors, which is a nice trick. You can lock onto the enemy, uh, and you'll, your shots will stay in front of the mirror, so you can still shoot it without having to even change what you're locked onto. And we set on fire again! Normally, uh, plants would be dead by being set on fire twice. But I guess this is a very special plant. Creature. Sort of thing. Aliens. Ah! Stop trying to belch at me, you stupid thing. I think it gets to the second form the hardest because now at this point, these mirrors are just right in a row so you can just. To strafe. Get that mirror out of the way. And get this mirror out of the way. And once again, it falls down. And you can pretty clearly, uh, clearly see the pattern of this boss. 
Trust me, I'm making this look a lot, a lot easier than it can be. When I first played this, this boss like killed me like I think like three times in a row. Before I figured out exactly the best course of action was to take it out. Well, anyway, I guess we beat the game because there's nothing else bad going on, I'm sure. Ooh, what's this? Varia suit. Hooray! Awesome. It's a being of pure energy. And this is another energy sort of thing. Give you a hundred. Of course, we already scanned that, but whatever. Uh, this thing can be pretty dangerous, and you can't kill it right now. So I'd just avoid it. But right now, I think, well, next time we'll find something else to do, I guess.